Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got three exciting launches to share with you today. First up, three new AWS Wavelength zones are now available on Verizon's 5G ultra wideband network. In addition to the existing zones in Boston and San Francisco, you can now use the new ones in Atlanta, New York City, and Washington, DC. You get access to AWS compute and storage services at the edge of Verizon's 5G network, and this minimizes the latency and the network hops between your application and a 5G device. Some cool use cases, AR VR, smart factories, real-time gaming, ML-assisted diagnostics for healthcare, and even interactive live video streaming. You can read the what's new, and you can watch our newest customer videos to learn more. Next up, AWS Glue is an extract, transform, and load, that's ETL, service that we launched in 2017. It's serverless, it has an integrated data catalog, and also a flexible job scheduler. When you turn Glue loose on your data, it de detects partitions and schemas and uses that information to build tables. You can then take those scripts generated by Glue and you can put in any desired data transformations. So with that as a base, what's new? The AWS Glue Studio helps you to build your scalable ETL jobs in drag and drop form. It works with well-structured tabular data and also semi-structured data, such as log files and social feeds. To use it, you choose a data source and a data target, and then use a visual builder to specify the desired transformations. You can alter field names and types, select a subset of fields, split fields, apply filters, and more. When your job is ready, you give it a name, specify some other details, and your job is ready to run. The Glue Studio includes a monitoring dashboard that gives you a global view of your jobs and of your resource usage. You can read the what's new to learn more. Now, as you might know, I'm a big fan of Amazon Workspaces, it's been my primary working environment for over six years now. A lot of AWS customers are now using workspaces to power their work from home efforts. We see some great success stories and lots of requests to scale up deployments. So new today, a workshop is gonna show you how to build and deploy an end user computing dashboard. This dashboard is really cool. It's designed for you and for your help desk staff. It lets you see information about your workspaces directories and your workspaces fleets, and also about your AppStream 2.0 fleet. The dashboard is built around a static website. It uses Amazon Cognito for authentication. API Gateway gives access to a serverless backend powered by a Lambda function. The Lambda function in turn retrieves information about your directories and your fleets. Now, in addition to this being a really simple and useful management tool, it's a great example of how to build a web application that uses authentication and makes calls to the AWS APIs. To learn more and to find the workshop, you can read the what's new. And finally, a quick plug for a new book. So when I was in the seventh grade, way back in 1970 something, I learned basic programming and I used what I learned back as the basis for my career. Back then, simply finding programming books was actually really difficult. Now today, not every child is gonna grow up to be a developer, but I think that they should all be able to write some simple programs. Regardless of the career path that they take, I'm really confident this skill is gonna serve them well. Now to this end, I'd like to recommend this brand new book by April Spate. Bite-sized Python, an open and approachable way for young people to get started. It covers lists, loops, conditions, dictionaries, functions, and modules, and I like it a lot. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we look forward to your feedback. Send us an email, a tweet, or leave a comment below. To see more videos just like this, you can subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications. We'll see you again soon.